This is Anthony Santo on behalf of MyRecordingInternship.com with a, another masterclass for you on percussive cutaways. So this is when we actually follow the band uh, and make the cuts when they're making their stop. So uh, it, it's easier to show you than to explain. So let me show you what we're about to do. So we're working with a metal song here. This works in a lot of different genres, but it works really well when songs are hitting hard. So uh, let's see what we're starting with. Very cool, very cool. All right, so uh, we're going to let this breakdown stay how it is. I'm going to switch this to one bar, the grid. Um, and we're going to let this breakdown stay how it is for two rotations. So that'll be two bars. Those first two we will do nothing to. We'll start right here. Uh, and you could go ahead and make sure that your all group is enabled. And let's zoom in on the bar we want to start on. It should be right at about 4.2 seconds for you. Change your grid now to 30 second notes. And here's what we're going to do. We're going to count how many 30 second notes there are in between these bass drum hits. And we're going to take out half of them. So here we are with two 30 seconds notes to the next bass drum hit. We want to take out the second one. Same thing here, take out the second one. And over here now we have four 30 second notes. We want to take out the last two. And we'll keep on going that way. And this one will have four to the snare drum. So let's uh, just take out two of those. And two of these. And let's see where we're at. Very close, very close. Just a few more. Let's try this one out. And this one out. No, actually, I think we're there. Let's take a listen. Nope, we got two more. We'll take this one out, and we'll take this one out. Now we stuttered our way through this section. So we did some percussive cutaways to really highlight the pattern that they're, they're doing uh, here. So now what we want to do is make our fades. The first thing we'll do is batch fade it. Just highlight the entire area, hit Command F. And I'm going to do a batch fade of five milliseconds. It's very important right now that you know how many milliseconds this batch fade is because we will have to adjust it to keep it feeling like it's on a tempo. So make sure you put it at five milliseconds or at least that's something that you know it, what it is if it's 10 if it's three, whatever it might be, just okay that. And you'll see that our batch fades did come in across all of these fellows over here, but it does not come in on this stuff. So go up to your slip mode, that's F2, highlight, and you could just do a small little fade there just by pressing F, and we'll go to the end of this, and we'll do a small little fade just by pressing F. We have tiny, tiny fades going in and out. Now highlight this area, and we want to offset the fade that we just did so we can keep this on time. So we'll go to our nudge section up here, change that to one millisecond. Yes, we're being very, very precise, but that's our job. So now use your arrow keys, uh, the ones over the comma and the period, to go ahead and move it back probably between three and five milliseconds, whatever sounds right to you. I'm going to move it back at three. And let's see if that chopped correctly, if it feels right. That feels, feels pretty great to me. Um, and let's do one more pretty cool thing here in this weekly masterclass. Uh, I want to do something with the guitars to kind of highlight the pattern at the end as well. I'm going to take out the drums completely. So I'll switch my all group off and I will get rid of the drums and I will get rid of the bass. So Command M will get rid of all that stuff for you. So what we should hear now is this. Cool, that's sounding good to me. Now, I want to do an effect uh, where you could actually get rid of these fellas too. These are the before we reamped them sounds. They don't need to be here because we won't really put them in the final. So let's go ahead and just hide them, make them inactive, get them out of this session for right now. All right, so we are going to work on this guitar right here. So I want to do something where we put a guitar to one side and then we put a guitar to another side. And you know, that's just not enough for me. I want to make it a little more exciting than that as well. So I want to put it on one side sounding muffled like it's coming from far away. And I want the other side to sound 
uh, muffled in a way where we cut out all the low end and it's very high pitched. Um, so I'm going to take this part and I'm going to use that twice. So let's make some new tracks. All we got to do is Command Shift N for new tracks. We need two of them. You can press up to get to two mono audio tracks in samples, create those. Great. And we will call this guitar low. And we'll call the next one, just command and hit your arrow key to the right. We we'll call that one guitar high. Uh, what I'm going to do is use the same pattern so it's very easily identifiable. So I'll get rid of this stuff for now. Uh, we'll take this one down to here, and I'm going to use that same exact one right here. Now we could get rid of these guys as well. Command M mutes, remember that. Um, here we'll now have, let's just go left and right with these for now. So pan this one all the way to the left, pan this one all the way to the right, and let's lower the volumes to match the song down about 9.2. Great. So now we have which is cool by itself, but now let's do some fun stuff with it. We'll go to Guitar Low, plug in EQ, and bring up our EQ7 band. So what I want to do first here is get a really low sounding one. So we have two filters here with high pass filter. If you click that on, you'll see it takes away the low stuff and the low pass filter, you click that on, it takes away the high stuff. So we'd want to work with the low pass filter as we work with this one. So click the N off of that. Let's move this up to about 12 dB per octave and bring this down like crazy. How about right around 200? We'll let it start singing to us. Let's see what that sounds like. So it's really going to get lost and draw the listener's ear in. And now we want to blast them on the other side doing the exact opposite. So let's plug in EQ, EQ37 band. This is on the guitar high track now. And now we want to put on our high pass filter instead of our low pass filter so we know what that does and we will break it to 12 dBs per octave and do a very similar thing cut it maybe maybe around here at 1.56 I have it set right now let's hear what that sounds like so we're going to draw the listeners ear in pretty much uh, completely in there so when the verse drops or whatever comes next drops it will explode the, at the listener and uh, that's what we're trying to we're trying to draw them in and then push hard so they, they're interactive with the song that we're doing with the music that we're creating here uh, so what used to be just four times in a row of the same thing now sounds like this and that's the effect i wanted to show you on uh, this one so thanks for being with me on this weekly masterclass, and i'm looking forward to seeing you on the next one